Ahoy, I'm Old Man Boone. I'm joined today by Salvacorn. Uh, we're once again reviewing movies arbitrarily. Uh, this... You saw us arbitrarily rank the DreamWorks films. Now we're going to arbitrarily rank the Leica films. A mm -hmm. uh, much shorter list, but... Uh... Much shorter. It is considerably shorter. But let's get into it. Burning down the midnight oil, I don't know what it's for anyway. Hey, 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 hey. So we were talking before recording, and uh, we've come to a consensus for it to count as a Leica film, it has to be fully animated. Uh, so, like, <laughs> these three contract works down here just don't count, yeah, because they're not fully animated films or, and or their television series yeah television series doesn't count corpse bride however does count we're not counting moon girl because it's a, sh it's a short shorts don't count <laughs> all right, right. Well, shall we go gather we shall gather Probably use whatever image we want for these. I think this is one of the most iconic ones. The uh, yeah, the K, the tunnel. I've used it before when like talking about sound, like not soundscape. <laughs> We're talking about like color. Um, wow, I cannot think of words right now. Talking about color. When yeah, you know, when talking about color, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got Coraline and then Paranorman. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, the, that was a good one. The spooky guy. The spooky guy. It's also got the full cast there, so you get more of a sense of the world. So, after Paranorman, we have... Uh, after Paranorman, we have... Uh, we have Kubo. And the two strings. And the two strings. <laughs> That's a pretty one. Yeah, okay, let's go with that one. <laughs> I love their use of purples. Yeah. They use purple really well. <laughs> I say that as we're putting down one that doesn't have purple in it. <laughs> yeah, we were also looking at the, the mm -hmm. purple in both of those. They have a strong color. They use they use color well. They do missing link neither of us have seen this i believe Shit. <laughs> <laughs> i thought i'd seen all the like of films but we both missed this one should we go with that picture right there with the in the forest yeah sure i wasn't super enamored with the trailer <laughs> mm -hmm. i believe up next is corpse bride yep no, not Corpse Husband. What's Corpse Husband? <laughs> it's a game, I think. Corpse Party, missing footage. Oh, Corpse Party is what I was thinking. Well, then what's Corpse Husband? What's hus Corpse Husband? Is this going to be a bad time? Oh, what the heck is this? Oh, he's a YouTuber. That's right. Oh. How about the... Um, how about this one? Yeah, that's a good one. All right, and I believe, excuse me a moment, <laughs> I believe that just leaves the last one. Yep. Yeah, the last one. Mm hmm. The last Leica film. Yep. The last Leica film. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. 
Now, uh, I hate to do this, but I think the la the last one is still the worst for Leica because I mean they you know we did the we did that other list uh, and it was ranked higher, but for Leica for Leica yeah, films yeah for for the the Leica films it's the bottom of the barrel yeah definitely definitely. Okay. If we're going to be arbitrarily like <laughs> arbitrarily ranking the Leica films, that one goes at the bottom. Yeah, definitely. I think after that would have to be a missing link, just because neither of us have seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Feels a little mean spirited, but we've got a lot of really good films here, with the exception of Trolls, which you know, mind you, is a good film. But it's no everything else like a maid. Yeah, which is just absolute masterpieces. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mm -hmm. Missing Link. Like I said before, if you haven't seen it, I was not super enamored with the trailer. But for all I know, it's the best Lego film. Mm -hmm. But we haven't seen it, so we can't be certain. I think this is where it gets really rough. Yeah. Because I think Leica has made... A lot of really fantastic films. I mean, this isn't a huge pile of films, mind you. Literally all four of these, I would absolutely say, are masterpieces. Yeah, I would put them in my best films of all time list any day. So, if we're still being arbitrary about it, um, <laughs> I think a good way to be arbitrary about it is that... I, I was going to say that maybe it should then be Corpse Bride, because it is a tim burton film made by leica yeah not solely produced by leica it was also produced by to the tim burton company and then what's the other one padalex to the second productions so solely to be more of a purist despite the fact that i think all four of these films are fucking fantastic i'm sorry heckin fantastic <laughs> heckin fantastic I would say, oh god, I, hate, I feel dirty doing it. Yeah. Do you think that's like too arbitrary? Feels a little too arbitrary. Maybe a little, but it is definitely like that clear Tim Burton style. The rest of these are all like their own thing. Also, and... so I think it also comes down to we both like halloween horror more than anything else on this list so far like i don't know about you but i, I love halloween horror more than <laughs> i do necessarily you know a, a story about fighting evil that's the moon but is also really good but i would say we should put kubo next no i love kubo yeah but it's really good but it's it's not spooky and the rest of Leica up here, these top Leica films are spooky. I guess it is spooky. It actually is very yeah, spooky. Yeah, it is still spooky, just in a completely different flavor. Which is not Halloween spooky. Well, then what would you put next? I think I think it was a solid arbitrary reason to put Corpse Bride <sighs> down as number four. I really like Corpse Bride. Yeah, it is a really good one. Should we? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> arbitrarily decided all right this is where i feel like we're gonna fight yeah i would put paranorman next i didn't agree to that okay here's where we're definitely gonna fight <laughs> here's where we're gonna fight <laughs> between kubo and Coraline, that is a really tough decision to make not for me. I was going to say, I, uh, but since I'm super on the fence about it, I do think you're going to be the tipping factor here to make Kubo be in second place. Mm. It just. It is also Coraline is just absolutely beautiful, fantastic, incredibly fun story. Yeah, it's like, I. Both films like are. Like you were saying, the spooky Halloween horror. Yeah, both films are fantastic. I honestly. Every one of these films is on a whole nother level, with the exception of Trolls, which, no offense, is just the worst thing that Leica has made. It is. <laughs> it's just, I, 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 I'm not even entirely positive if it's if part of it is like nostalgia and also the fact that it has like more of that like grittier look to like the the actual. Yeah, 
I mean, Cubo looks super polished. But and it's beautiful. But um, it Coraline like plays more into like that. Uh, there's shit, I cannot remember the names of them. They, like stop motion grit. You know, it really plays into that stop motion grit. Like uh, what are the guys' names? The two brothers. Cohen brothers. No, no, no. Oh no, right, no, that was the They're brothers. That was the first thing I thought. Okay, I'm gonna try to remember this. It's not selected. Nothing's ever selected. Nope. Starbucks. No, I, I know who you're talking about. I just don't know. Quay. Yeah, the Quay brothers. It kind of like plays into that like Quay brothers to some degree because you have like broken dolls and you have like messed up like textures and just the grit. And it was well, also still being fun, which is not really what the Quay Brothers did, but... The Quay Brothers was definitely more horrifying. Mm -hmm. But they, they play into that that imagery that just, like, with your textures. And Kubo, I think, is fantastic. I, I enjoy the story. I think it looks beautiful. But I really just love the, just the grit of Coraline with, like, the colors and, like, the fun and the story and... That spooky Halloween horror. Yeah. Also, there we watched it in theaters. I'm pretty sure I saw a little bit of green screen in uh in Kubo. Kubo. <laughs> yeah, just, a, just a tiny hair of green screen. I don't remember saying that, but it was towards the end of the movie. I'm trying <laughs> to remember the scene. But there was just the hintest of green. I wonder if uh, Google has it. I think it was like when the moon is talking to him. I don't think you're going to find it through Google search. Google's trash. Yeah, that's true. Also, they used green screen, so... Yeah. Like... <laughs> God, the fucking 18-foot puppet. <laughs> I think that's crazy. Well, that's... just incredible. <laughs> I feel mean, like putting Kubo below Coraline because they spent so much time and money on like Kubo. Yeah. But like and I'm probably like nostalgia biased to put Coraline ahead of it but just the sheer amount of effort that went into Kubo is impressive on its own mm -hmm. but still Coraline just I don't know should we get into uh, like getting real for a minute should we, we actually talk about box trolls should we i think we should yeah it's... because it's the it's the film that uh, allegedly saved the company and it is also the worst thing they have made <laughs> by far it really is we should probably uh tell a little bit about our theater experience with it oh yeah let's see we were up in ohio right yeah i think you all were visiting me in college mm-hmm <laughs> Uh, it was me and my mom were up visiting Boone in college at Wright State. And Wright State, baby! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we were trying to figure out what we could do that would be fun. And uh, there was a movie theater right by the university. And we were like, oh, Box Trolls is playing. That's, that's by Leica. They've made some really good stuff. I wasn't thrilled with like the trailers but you know they always put the most annoying elements in the trailer right yeah and we went into the theater it was just a wreck so annoying every element of it just one-dimensional characters that exist for a single joke just everything about it just felt like a design to just be marketing for like to get parents to take their kids to this movie and it's just it was it's, all about the cash grab and it's just it's so it's so annoying it is really annoying it's the most annoying film i've sat through in theaters in a while because i don't go to the theater as much as i should well also 2020 but you know the whole pandemic going on but it was just so bad it was so bad and then also while we were in the theater Throughout the entirety of the movie, there was a small child behind me kicking my seat. 
<laughs> the quintessential theater experience. I just it, visually, I think it looks fine. I, yeah, it, visually, it's great. Everything else, can't stand it. It is uh, so fucking annoying. I hate this movie so much. It's like the concept isn't bad, but just the story. But it's bad. The story is just horrendous. The the rushed plot. The I, I don't like when you watch it. Like they don't give you time to actually care about any of the characters. Mm-hmm. Terrible movie. <laughs> God awful. And I I really hate that it's the film that like. They got the company out of the out of the red. I'm like I'm glad that they got the money mm. and got to continue doing what they're passionate about. Kubo was absolutely incredible. Mm. Wasn't that the very next film? They made? I think it was. Yeah, and what they had to do to get there. Oh, what they had to do. <laughs> All right, now bonus round. Where does the Trolls movie, not made by Leica, fit on this list? Okay, where do... Oh. <laughs> he lost it. <laughs> mm. Well, and again, to be arbitrary, we did not see the Sasquatch movie. Mm -hmm. So I think it's at least better than that one. How did I end up rotating it? By accident? Uh, hold on, it's canceling. It's pros. <laughs> We broke it. Mm -hmm. It crashed. <laughs> we literally broke it. I don't think I saved that. Yeah, I don't think you did. Uh, I don't think I needed to. All right, well, that's going to be it for this time. <laughs> Photoshop decided that was enough. All right, thanks but for watching. We got the right place for trolls. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs> Unless they're into cinema, but like I'm just like, who the f was it again? Scary, we got ADHD. And I'm just like colors. Colors. I can't remember any of the fucking words like color palette or. Uh... Colors. Is that why YouTubers always seem like fucking idiots? Because I can't recall basic. Anybody can remember on command. <laughs>